The president, meantime, is on vacation, but before he left, he put out a few tweets. And if you read them, you will see a list of his accomplishments for the first year. Stock market at a record high, the housing market on a tear, Neil Gorsuch confirmed for the Supreme Court. His list goes on. But look at the latest polling numbers, and the president is still way underwater. 3658. We'll bring in the big man himself, Tony Katz, WIBC talk show host from the great city of Indianapolis. Tony, always good to see you, my friend, who you're good in to New see York. You. Yes, Shocking. I am. Well, enjoy the Big Apple while you're there. Uh, what do you think is the disconnect between the poll numbers and the stock market and what is undoubtedly a number of accomplishments for the president? Yeah, there's no disconnect. There's no disconnect. There's only media talking points. If you ask the American people outside of, of polling, they will see results. They know that there are results. If you take a constant drumbeat uh, from media outlets talking about what a horrible, evil, terrible, despicable man President Trump is, well, that's all you're going to be left with. So in the in the realities, when you ask people on a one on one, there is no disconnect in that group think and in those polls. Well, sure, but, there but was a is, disconnect. Oh, but but Tony, is that is that giving the American people enough credit? They they know how their they know how their 401 k is doing. They know whether they feel safer or less safe at home. They know what's happening to their own businesses and their own employers. So, is it giving them enough credit to just say, well, the media is brainwashing them? It was, the, it was the polling that told us that Hillary Clinton was going to be the next president. They don't believe the polls, and pollsters, it's very obvious, don't get answers the way the American people really and truly think. We see this time and again. So, yes, I, I give full credit to the American people, just mm -hmm. like, like you, and good to see. Uh, they know the good when they see okay. it. They don't necessarily believe the talking points, but the talking points do affect the polling. Response bias might be the word for that. Bernie Goldberg, um, one of my favorite journalists, uh, we had him on yesterday to talk about this very same issue. This is what he said. Take a listen. He, he tweets too much. He's too vindictive. He's too much of a narcissist. And except for his loyal mm. base that still loves him, that's he's the president of his base because 35 percent isn't going to get him where he wants to go. Is Bernie on to something if for no other reason than this could be a problem come the midterms? Well, there's a problem with the tweets and in terms of getting into fights that don't help him in the idea of the cumulative effect. It's like an MMA fighter. If you were to kick an MMA fighter in the leg, the one leg kick doesn't do it. The second leg kick doesn't do it. The cumulative effect of leg kicks do eventually take a fighter down. And for President Trump, they're self-inflicted. But I, I would say to, to Bernie Goldberg and to, and to anybody else, yes, the people may think that he's vindictive, but they're also very happy to see a tax cut. Yes, they may think he gets into too many fights, but Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. So they may think about this as the man who they want to, I, I don't know, they think of him as the boyfriend or whatever. Well, I'm not it, looking it for goes, a boyfriend and most people aren't. It, 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 go, it goes back to James Carville's famous line about it's the economy stupid when he talked about uh, Bill Clinton getting elected and what they were going to focus on. Is there a potential problem for Republicans that you have people who may like what the president has done for their pocketbook, may not like how he's done it, and you set up a situation where values trump even your own self-financial interest? Um, you show me the place where things trump your own financial self-interest, okay. and I will invest in that place <laughs> for my own financial self-interest. Um, if people feel safer at home, if the consumer confidence is high, if they see more dollars in their paycheck, and oh, by the way, they see a foreign policy with a president who takes nothing from nobody, well, that's something that does make people feel good, regardless of whether they think, my goodness, would he just stop tweeting already? Well, I mean, that, that would be the 1984 Ronald Reagan winning in a landslide scenario. Well, well, first you've got to ask yourself whether or not he's running for re-election. And I think oh, we're come way on. too far on that. Come on. Oh, I'm, you're, you're Donald Trump. One term's all you need. I'm out. Why should I bother? <laughs> I'd rather be in my penthouse in New York. It's a okay. great place. Have you seen it? It's beautiful with the gold and everything else. Well, uh, you're, 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 in, you're in New York. I mean, he's in Florida, but you didn't get an invitation to go over for coffee or something? 
Oh, uh, listen, listen. Our friendship between the president and I—it's a very special thing, very private. You know, I don't want to—I don't want to say too much. Uh, but I, I, I will say this: in the end, people are interested in results. And the, I think the Washington Times uh, did a great job. Eighty-one actual results. There are actual results. What hmm. people are talking about, what Bernie Goldberg's talking about, is about how you feel about him. Well, it's yeah. deeds versus words. Where are you? Do you are you worried about the things that he's saying, or are you worried about results? Me, most of America, we want results and we're actually getting them in the judiciary with people like Amy Coney Barrett and, and Don Willett. We're getting them in, yeah. in the financial sector. We got them you, in regards yeah, to Jerusalem you, 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 and foreign you, policy. You, you make a good point, especially on the polling and response bias. If, if you change, perhaps if you change some of the questions to what you ask on your radio show of, are you happy with what the president has done versus do you approve of the way he's doing his job? You might get a, uh, a new and a different thought, something we'll discuss, I'm sure, uh, as we get together in the future uh, days and weeks. Good to see you, Tony. Absolutely. All Take the care. Best. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy New York.